Hey, what is up guys, NVASS here. If you follow me on Facebook, then you might already know that I'm a 12th class pass out and I wanted to continue my academic career by pursuing engineering in computer sciences. So for that reason, I've written a bunch of entrances and got selected in a few. Out of the colleges I've got selected into, cutting down the expensive ones, I was left with local engineering colleges. By local, I mean the colleges in and around Hyderabad city. So admission into these colleges is based on a common entrance exam known as MSET which is one among those bunch of entrances I've written. MSET results came out. My MSET rank is 16,365. After looking into my rank, my reaction was like, okay, so now what? I mean, I totally had no clue on what to do next. Should I feel sad that there are around 16,364 students who scored better than me? Or should I feel happy that I scored better than over 100,000 people? And then, as usual, calls started coming in, people started asking me what my MZ rank is. When I told them my rank is 16,365, some people congratulated me, and some people were like, 16,000? Dude, that's a big number. It's really tough to get into a good college with that rank. Few events happened. I ran into depression, which involves me staring at random things for a very long time. My dad noticed me and cheered me up. He said me one thing. You have made your trials for getting into the best college in the country. But your results doesn't seem very promising. So, instead of blaming yourself of what you haven't done, just go forward and search for the college that best fits you. It is as simple as that. And then I started searching the web for the best colleges in the city, and eventually I found an Excel file containing all the last year's statistics. It was very simple. Out of the current colleges in the state, I gotta choose the best colleges that fits me. It's just like a multiple choice question which I've been practicing for quite a long time now. But the problem was there were around 2,500 options. And since I was fixed on pursuing engineering only in computer sciences, that to in a college that is in and around the Hyderabad city, uh, using a few Excel sorts, I could, uh, I could narrow down my list to up to 15 colleges. But then the problem has started again. How do I know which college is better? I tried opening their websites, but I just didn't know on what factors do we decide that a college is better than the rest of others. Moreover, no college speaks about their cons in their website and deciding whether the college is good or not just based on pros was tough. I inquired a lot of people, gathered a lot of information, there were a few educational fairs held here and there in the city, I've been there and to be frank, it was kind of crazy. Attending those educational fairs was just like going for shopping to Koti. Let me get this straight, most of the colleges I've seen in the educational fair are fairly simple. If you straight away Google about the top 10 colleges in the city, I'm pretty sure you don't find these colleges in this list. It's as simple as that. So it is basically the buyer's market. Well, but now what? Let me tell you what I did. Step 1. I opened a notepad and made out all those points I preferred in an engineering college. Step 2. I rounded off top 5 to 6 colleges based on my rank. Once I shortlisted from the long list of colleges, I got into their websites and got their contact information. According to me, always the best thing to do is to hear it directly from the horse's mouth. So in case you got any friends or family or even friends of friends who are studying in that particular college, I'd say you go meet them. Or another possible approach could be via Facebook. Most of the colleges out there do not publish about the cons about themselves in their websites. It is kind of possible to look at the other side of the coin with the help of Facebook. For instance, what do you get in search when you type Narayana TO on Google? Narayana Toppers 2013, Narayana Toppers 2014, blah blah blah. And what if, I, what if I do the same on Facebook? I might get something like Narayana Torture Chambers. I know the search results are personalized. They differ from account to account. They, they vary from person to person. But still, I'm saying you have a choice. And the next important thing I want to talk about is faculty. I know sometimes it doesn't matter whatever the qualification of the person is, he might not be good at teaching. Just like they say, a good batsman doesn't have to be a good coach. So personally, it is not so promising for me. But as it is told to me, in case any of your professors are PhDs, then there are more possibilities for you to get a good support in research when you be a part of one. The third point I want to talk about is placements. I know a lot of you guys watching this video out there might have already planned to continue your education abroad. But still, it is kind of important to pay attention to this point too. Because four years from now, you might not be thinking the same way you're thinking today. So I just felt it is important to give enough priorities to the placements too. But let me get this straight. A college with good placements doesn't mean you guaranteed a job. It is all in your hands. And for the most part, it will always be in your hands. Another topic I want to highlight about is how far are you from your college? 
When you go for a local engineering college, it is very likely that you stay home and travel to college every day. So if that is the case, you might want to choose a college that is not too far from your home. Because you've got a lot of work to do. And sitting and traveling on the same road twice a day for four years of your life? Who needs that? Now don't get me wrong. The distance between college and home is definitely a priority for the selection of college. But that is not the only priority. <sighs> Alright guys, I've already talked a lot. I still have a few points to share with you guys. But I want to get this video out before the MZ counseling. Which is expected to happen in the second week of July. So that is the reason I'm putting this video first. I'm currently working on a part 2 of this video. I leave the link to that in the description below once I complete working on it. And if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button to let me know. And if you don't like this video, just tell me why in the comments below. I love to improve. And if you want to watch my last video, you can watch it right here. And if you want here, and you can watch more of my videos on my channel. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to share this video around. Especially to all those friends who are also in a confused state. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. The third point I want to talk about batteries dying, batteries dying. It's time for wizards, time for wizards. Dalibati, Dalibati, Jaspur. Dalibati, Dalibati, Jaspur.